National Medal of Honor Day. Douglas B. Fournette. Medal of Honor recipient Douglas B. Fournette gave his life to save his men and the mission. First Lieutenant Fournette Infantry distinguished himself in action while serving as Rifle Platoon Leader of the 2nd Platoon, Company B. While advancing uphill against fortified enemy positions in the Al Shao Valley, the platoon encountered intense sniper fire, making movement very difficult. The right flank man suddenly discovered an enemy claymore mine covering the route of advance and shouted a warning to his comrades. Realizing that the enemy would also be alerted, First Lieutenant Fournette ordered his men to take cover and ran uphill towards the mine, drawing a sheath knife as he approached it. With complete disregard for his safety and realizing the imminent danger to members of his command, he used his body as a shield in front of the mine as he attempted to slash the control wires leading from the enemy position to the mine. As he reached for the wire, the mine was detonated, killing him instantly. Five men nearest the mine were slightly wounded, but First Lieutenant Fournette's heroic and unselfish act spared the men of serious injury or death. His gallantry and willing self-sacrifice are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself his unit, and the U.S. Army. He was killed three days before his 25th birthday. Fournette was buried in the Kinder McGrill Cemetery in Kinder, Louisiana. He was survived by his wife, Marilyn Brissett, who later remarried, and a son, Bill Fournette, who was born after his father's death. A portion of Interstate 210, which loops around Lake Charles, was named the Douglas Fournette Expressway in the fall of 2001. Then on July 3, 2010, he and four other Medal of Honor recipients with ties to Louisiana were inducted into the Louisiana Military Hall of Fame and Museum in Abbeville. The statue pictured here is the 1st Lieutenant Douglas B. Fournette Memorial, and it's the centerpiece of a redesign of the entry area of Veterans Memorial Park. Remember, if it's more interesting, you can find it here.